Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about things that I regret purchasing. I have talked about things that I don't buy anymore as a minimalist and things that I buy more of as a minimalist, but I do have some regrets on some purchases that I've made in the past and I wanted to share with them all with you today. But before we get started, if you are new here, welcome. I make videos all about minimalism and simple living every single week. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so we can hang out every single week. So the first thing that I regret purchasing in the past is high heels and uncomfortable shoes. I used to buy high heels all the time and honestly I only wore them maybe once or twice just for a special event or a special occasion and I just never wore them again because I literally cannot stand high heels. I can't walk in them. I don't like how they feel. They're so uncomfortable and I bought them just to look cute for a special event or occasion because I thought I needed them. There was one point when I came to the realization that my high heels were taking up too much space in my closet and I had to finally let them go because I literally never ever wore them. I've also bought other uncomfortable shoes whether it's boots or sneakers or wedges, basically any other type of shoe that I would feel uncomfortable walking in for a long period of time. And the only reason why I bought them was because they were on sale and they were for a good price or because I just thought they were cute and that they would go with an outfit that I had. But other than that, I just never wore those shoes because every time that I looked at them, I would think about how uncomfortable and painful those shoes were. Now the pair of shoes that I do have are all comfortable and I wear them all the time. And I no longer have to make that decision of looking at my shoes and wondering if I should wear these uncomfortable shoes or not and if it's worth walking around and being in pain for. I also regret purchasing organizational bins and storage containers because I thought that that was the solution to organizing and having a clutter-free home. Now, the problem with this is that I used to buy all of these things before decluttering and that is the biggest mistake that anybody can make. If you are looking to be more organized and downsize, please do not buy organizational bins before you declutter because if you just buy those bins you are going to find that you're not going to have enough room to put all of your stuff in there and that's not going to solve your problem the first thing that you want to do is declutter first and then buy organizational and storage containers or bins i made that mistake long ago thinking that it was going to solve all my problems and it never did so once i finally learned that decluttering is the first step that you need to take it made such a big difference and I highly recommend you doing that if you are thinking about getting organizational items. I have seen ads in the past where it would say things like, need help spring cleaning or decluttering? Buy our organizational bins. And the first thought to me was, this is very false advertising because you can't buy organizational bins to help you declutter. You have to declutter first and then purchase, if necessary, those organizational items to organize your things. I also came to the realization that after I did declutter a few things and then I still had that back in my mind that I wanted those organizational bins, I realized that I never even really needed them anymore and all I had to do was declutter. So I highly recommend you decluttering first before buying any of those things. Next thing I regret buying is work clothing. So I've never had a formal corporate job. Like we do have dress codes and things like that, but I've never had to actually buy specific work clothes and it's kind of more like business casual or just everyday clothes that I can wear not just for the office but I can also wear them like on an everyday basis. I used to buy things like button down tops and long sleeve blouses and slacks and work shoes that were more fancy than just a regular old tennis shoe but I did that to impress 
the company that I used to work for and not just a specific company but basically all the companies that I've worked for. The dress code was not so strict and I didn't really need to go out and purchase work specific items. I've talked about this before in other videos but I've mentioned that my wardrobe consists of clothing that I can wear on an everyday basis. I can wear it to the office or just on a casual normal day and I can just get by with that kind of clothing. It wasn't until a couple of years ago when I realized that I did not need to buy specific work clothing anymore and that I could get rid of it because I could just use my casual everyday clothing. I also regret buying padded bras. So ladies, I am part of the itty bitty committee and I used to buy tons of padded bras to help try to push up what I don't really have basically. I used to buy the Victoria's Secret bombshell bras that would instantly lift two cups right away and that was really appealing to me and I bought into that advertising and although it did very little for me, I still bought them because I did feel more confident wearing those type of padded bras but after a while I became more comfortable realizing that I have a smaller chest and I don't need to be buying padded bras because A, they don't really do much for me as they claim they do for other women. And B, I also found them uncomfortable after some time and I just felt more comfortable either just not wearing bras, honestly, or just wearing regular bras that don't have to try to push you up as much as possible. I used to have one bra that had an underwire in it and it was the most uncomfortable bra that I've ever worn in my entire life and I finally got rid of it once the wire actually started to poke out of the bra and I finally let that go and after that I've never looked back and I've never bought underwired bras ever again. So those are also very uncomfortable and just something that I don't buy anymore. I also stopped buying makeup wipes and a long time ago I was a big fan of the Neutrogena makeup wipes. They were my favorite makeup wipes and I never actually tried any other brands except for that one because I just stuck to what I loved using and those makeup wipes did the job, they got rid of all my makeup and I was just a big fan of them. It wasn't until a few years ago when I learned about having reusable makeup cloths or cotton pads to use to remove makeup and once I heard about that I was like why have I been using makeup wipes all this time? It's a waste of money and it's bad for the environment and now I just use reusable makeup wipes and they're honestly so much better and I'm also saving a lot of money because I'm not buying a big stack of makeup wipes anymore and the reusable cloths I can just use them up and then when they're all dirty I just throw them in the wash and then they're all clean again so I highly recommend you guys trying reusable makeup cloths. I will leave links Links to the ones that I use down below. I also regret purchasing trendy clothing items. So I mentioned this in other videos, but I used to shop at Forever 21, Charlotte Russe, Fashion Nova, all those trendy clothing item stores and I no longer purchase those items anymore because trendy clothes are just what it sounds like. It's a trend. It's only going to last a few weeks or months or a season and then after that trend is over, all these clothing just go to waste and then a new trend comes along and more people just are more interested in the latest trend. I used to be that person that used to love going to those stores because of those cheap and expensive prices on these trendy clothing items and eventually I did my research and informed myself of why the fashion industry is the way that it is and I just don't support the industry that does not pay their workers well and that treats them poor so that is one of the reasons why those prices for those stores are very low and I just would much rather have quality clothing items that are ethically made or sustainably made or that I buy secondhand instead because that's so much better than buying a $2 trendy clothing item from Forever 21. That's something that I wish I had known years ago so I could have stopped being 
part of that problem but I now no longer buy those trendy clothing items for that reason and although I learned that a little bit late like they say better late than never the next thing that I regret purchasing is plastic water bottles so I used to always buy plastic water bottles all the time I didn't even realize there was a filter system that you can just use instead so you can stop purchasing water bottles and I now have a filter at my home and that's how I get my water now I no longer purchase plastic water bottles anymore plastic is not good for the environment and now I'm being more eco-friendly by just using a filter and just filling up my reusable water bottles that I have when I'm at home. One thing that I used to do when I was traveling and going places all the time is that I would bring my reusable water bottle with me all the time in order to avoid purchasing plastic water bottles. For example, when you are traveling, it's so easy to purchase a water bottle from one of those convenience stores and spend five, six bucks on a water bottle when you can just bring your own reusable water bottle and fill up from the water fountain there. Also, when I used to go to the movie theaters, obviously I don't go to any of these places now because of the current state we're in. I also bring my reusable water bottle with me so I'm not tempted to buy from the concession stand a $5 water bottle. By not purchasing plastic water bottles anymore, I'm also saving money as well as helping save the environment. And the last thing that I regret purchasing is a bunch of notebooks and journals before using them up. So I will still buy notebooks and journals, but only if I absolutely need them. I'm actually still going through the process of filling up old notebooks that I still had lying around and that are empty and unused. So I'm trying to get through all of those first before I buy notebooks and journals. I am a big fan of writing and I love notebooks. I love the cute designs and everything. And I would have that problem where I would see notebooks in the stores and then I would just feel the urge to purchase it. So I did. And now I make sure to use my notebooks up before I purchase new notebooks. So those are all the things that I regret purchasing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever purchased anything that you've regretted. I would love to know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It supports me and my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!